What's good guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have basically all the different shirts you can get from Abercrombie. I have the heavyweight premium tee, I got these four and the one I'm wearing right now, and I got it in a regular length and then the tall length as well. I've got the essential oversized tee with the pocket. I've got the curved hem essential tee that's more like slim fit. I've got the premium polish tee with the pocket and the classic tee with the pocket. And then as a little bonus review, I'm gonna show you guys the essential popover tees as well. As always, everything will be listed in the description with the actual color, the model, and the size. And then make sure you stay tuned to the end. That's when I'm gonna rank everything out of 10. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first up we have the premium heavyweight tee. Take a look at the collar on this thing. This right here is one of the most heavyweight t-shirts that I've actually bought. So if you're not wanting something thick and heavy, stay away from this t-shirt. On the back of the t-shirt, they do have this one stitched line that goes all the way down to the bottom. Another feature is the little split hems all the way at the bottom on both sides. So the first thing you notice about this when you feel it is how soft it is. It's definitely brushed because it has that like suede feeling. Before I back up so you can see the whole shirt, just wanna let you know I'm six feet tall, like 175 pounds. This right here is a medium tall. I got medium tall for four out of the five in the premium heavyweight tee. So I'm gonna put on the four that are medium talls and then the last one I'll show you is just the regular medium. Okay, here is going to be the regular medium. So to me, this one looks like it's kind of cropped or something. I feel like the ratios of the shirt just make it look too short. And I noticed that <clears throat> on the model in the pictures online, and with my gut, I just ordered the medium tall. And I actually like the way that one fits better. If you're on the shorter side, definitely go regular. But it's just like that length where if, if it's a little bit longer, it kind of rests on your jeans and just looks better. To me, it's kind of just floating in the air. I don't, I don't like that look. I know like the craft t-shirts are like kind of in style now. That's, it's just not me. I don't like the look of it. So I'm actually gonna send this one back. I still have the tag on it. All right, next up we have the Essential Oversized Tee. This one right here is also very soft. It's almost the exact same material, but it's not as thick, okay? It feels the same, but definitely not as thick. I would say this one's more like mid-weight if this one is heavyweight. Here's the collar on this one. Not quite as like thick and textured as the heavyweight. Also does not have that line in the back. No splits at the bottom either. Let's go ahead and try this one on. Okay, here's the neck. Nice little pocket. So this one is a regular medium. I didn't get this one in tall. And at first I was gonna send it back. I still might. but the width of this one is a little bit thinner than the other one I was just wearing than the premium. So it doesn't look quite as bad and flowy. A little bit, not quite as bad though. So I don't know, I might keep it, we'll see. Okay, this one is the Essential Curved Hem Tee. Again, it's the same material, it's like really soft, feels like suede 
but this one's a little bit thinner than the last one I just tried on. Okay, this one also has the tags. I'll be sending this one back and I'll tell you why. Um, before I talk about the negatives, I do love the length of this. I love the way it looks like everything here. I don't like the sleeves. Like in, in my opinion, a shirt that fits like this, it should have more snug of sleeves. And I know I'm kind of skinny and everything, but even on the models, it's just very unflattering. It just makes you look like kind of like skinny and it doesn't do you any favors, okay? I'll show you a shirt in a second that I think fits much better and it's very similar to this one. If you guys have followed my channel, you know this company already. Let's go ahead and try it on. Okay, I don't even really care for this color that much, but I just want to show you guys. This is the Rule of Threads t-shirt. You see what I mean? It just it just looks so much better with like snug arms. Like I don't look quite as skinny. You know what I mean? Okay, for the last two, I just want to point something out. These are the polished tees. This one's the classic polished tee. This one is the premium polished tee. And I figured they would kind of be the same, like same fit, just maybe different materials. But no, definitely not. This one fits way different. So I don't want you guys to get confused if you see one of these that you like and you want to get it, don't think they're the same, okay? So first, we will start with the premium polish tee. This one feels like, it's like thinner, but very heavyweight, like really high quality cotton. Like premiums in the name, it feels premium for sure. Okay, one of the things I, I don't know, to me, like the collar seems a little bit stretched out, so I still have the tag on it. I haven't washed it or anything, because I might send it back. Still haven't decided yet. All right, this one's got a pocket. No line on the back, no split hem. Let's go ahead and try it on. See what I mean about the collar, a little bit stretched out. This cotton also feels a little bit like cooler to, on your skin compared to the other one. I don't know, should I keep this one? Eh, I don't know, I, I think that collar is pissing me off a little bit. Probably send this one back. I don't mind it though. I can go either way. Okay, for the last t-shirt, we have the classic polished tee and this, that's exactly what it feels like. It feels like a classic soft cotton t-shirt not thick not thin just medium nothing crazy about it just like a solid solid t-shirt i could tell it's going to last a long time it's not going to shrink well it doesn't shrink because i just washed it before <laughs> nice fitting collar sleeves aren't quite as long as some of the other shirts Kind of just like a normal t-shirt. It's like the way they used to be made before like slim was cool, before oversized was cool. It's just like kind of right in the middle there. They don't have many colors in this model, but I just love like a nice heathered gray shirt. Really soft, comfortable. Okay, bonus review time. We've got the essential popover hoodies. So I initially ordered one of these with my last order like a month and a half, two months ago and I loved it, so I got another one when I got the rest of the t-shirts, okay? These are exactly what I'm looking for when I get a hoodie, okay? Like, I'm not a big tech hoodie guy. I don't want like a cool to the touch hoodie. Like, I want the one that's fleecy on the inside. It's warm, it's soft, it fits good, you know what I mean? That's exactly what these do, all right? I got them in medium tall because I'm not into, I know the whole thing, you know, it's it's shorter and cropped, you wear your t-shirt underneath it, like I don't, I don't like that, okay? I just want my hoodie to fit normal, so I got it in tall. All right, let's try one on, I'll show you. Okay, so comfortable.
nice and like a little oversized. See how the length is perfect. I think the other one is like kind of like this, you know. No, thank you. But just like a pair of jeans, like nice fitting jeans, some white shoes. I would put a white tee under this so that pops through with white shoes. Such a perfect outfit for fall. And you like, it's you're comfortable and you look nice. Okay, and this one right here, how sick is this color? Whew. Things are warm, by the way. I'm literally like starting to sweat. Love it, so nice. Let's try the hood for you guys. I know some people are gonna want that probably, so. Could be a little bit bigger, but it's all good. I kind of like it, the way it like rests right here when I'm not wearing it. I think that looks like really nice. Woo. Sweat. Okay, now for the ratings and rankings. In last place, unfortunately, is gonna be the Essential Curve Hem Tee. It is very comfortable, super soft, and it fits pretty good other than the sleeves and I, the collar is a little bit too tight for me. Um, if it was just a little bit looser and the sleeves were snug, I would definitely have kept this and I would probably buy more. I'm gonna give this a 7.2 out of 10. Okay, next up we have the Premium Polish Tee. I'm gonna give this one like a 7.2 six out of 10. It's actually a really solid t-shirt. I don't know if I just got a bad one and the collar was a little bit too loose or if that's just how they always are. Um, I also, the material feels really high quality. I just don't like the cool to the touch, like that feeling on my skin, it like makes me sweat for some reason. Okay, next up in the rankings, we have the oversized essential pocket t-shirt. And it's actually tied with the classic polish tee as well. I like them about the same. You know, they're a little bit different for sure. They fit differently, but I like them about the same. I'm gonna give them both an 8.1 out of 10. This one's very soft. It still has a tag on it. I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it, but like as, as I've tried it on, I, I think I'm gonna keep it. We'll see like when I do the editing, that's when I could really tell how things look. So I might be like, oh, never mind, it looks like trash. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna like it. now. My favorite t-shirt, the one that made me buy all these because I was like, oh, you know what? I like this one so much. I'm going to buy all the t-shirts and see how I like them. This is the heavyweight, premium heavyweight tee. All right. I think everyone, if you're going to try and start wearing oversized t-shirts um, and, you know, it's going to be fall soon. So if you live in like colder weather, it's an excuse to wear a t-shirt because this is like going to be warm. It's heavyweight. It's perfect for fall. This is a really good one. Really, really good one. I'm going to give this... I'll give it like an 8.9 out of 10. I've washed these, I've had this one and the two others for like just about two months now and I've washed them every week. I've worn them every week, okay? And they've held up really, really well. I haven't noticed any pilling, so I'm very impressed with these. Okay, and last but not least, maybe my favorite product of all today. This is the Essential Popover Hoodie. I absolutely love it. It's extremely comfortable, so, so soft fleece on the inside. I haven't had a really good hoodie like this in a long time. It reminds me of like hoodies I used to get back in the day where it was like just so soft and comfortable. And then it's like this amazing color that makes an outfit look really nice. I, I love it, I really do. The only thing I can't speak to is the durability. I've washed the like yellow one probably like two times and it's still fine so far but it's just so soft. I don't know how many more washings it could take. Maybe it'll be great, but I have a feeling like when I wash it maybe 25, 50 times, it might start pilling. I also recommend, if you see a color that you like, it's probably gonna sell out, especially now it's getting to hoodie weather. So if you see one you like, definitely snag it. All right guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Also subscribe if you have not already. I post new videos just like this one every single week. And if there's any other products that you guys are seeing online and you want an honest reviewer to actually review them, let me know, post them in the comments.
you have any other questions about any of the shirts, post them in the comments as well. But other than that, I will see you guys next week with a new one. Later, guys.